Hey guys, I'm just continuing on from the previous video. So now our task is going to be to find Ix, our moment of inertia, using the parallel axis theorem. So we have these two pieces of information. We have Ix dash, which is the uh, moment of inertia of the um, individual shapes, is bh cubed on 12. And that's sort of true for all rectangles. So uh, we looked at that in the previous video, and the, no, in the previous video on our standard moment of inertia formulas. And we have the additional parallel axis theorem now, which tells us that Ix, so the total moment of inertia, is the individual moment of inertia plus some factor which adjusts for how far the area acts at, away from the center rate of the total section. So we're going to first look at shape one. So we work out Ix for shape, Ix dash for shape one. So if we just look at the question, uh, this one here down the bottom, this was shape one, if we can remember, that was shape one. Uh, we're going to be working out Ix for this shape. So you can see that uh, B is 300 millimeters wide and H is 800 millimeters deep. So it's high, so its height is 800 millimeters, its width is 300 millimeters. So we can work out the first bit. So Ix dash is just going to be 300 times 800 cubed on 12. And if we work that out, we end up getting 1.28 times 10 to the 10. And the